Something that we haven't talked a lot about is how important exercise and physical activity is to mental health. And uh, I will actually be featured in an article, maybe before this video even goes out, but anyway. Um, but basically, exercise can be a form of mood adjustment, right? And if you've ever had a point where you're really super stressed about a situation and you have to remove yourself from the situation and went for a walk, gained some clarity and came back, that's a prime example. Sometimes just being, you think the best when you're moving your feet and it's super interesting. People think that you have to sit there and think, but you'll get the most clarity when you're moving your feet. And sometimes not if you're playing a sport or something like that, but if you're walking, let's say, and going for a hike, walking down the neighborhood, wherever it might be, that's when you see the most clearly, right? For lack of a better word, it sort of eliminates all this noise and allows you to focus a little bit more and, 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 and work through scenarios or whatever it might be. So the, the importance of exercise and physical activity on mental health is key. And I, I sense it with myself, I know with other people that if they miss their workout, they're not the same. They don't feel as energized, they don't feel like they're able to give back as much, they don't feel as excited, There maybe even their mood changes, right? And this is very common. And one of the things with treating different types of mental health uh, concerns is that is if we can get you moving, we can probably help a lot of the symptoms that you're experiencing, right? So if, if at the very least you can get out there and get active and get some steps in for your mental health, that's the most important thing. Forget about how much it can change your body. And sometimes, I would say all the time, it influences your mental health before it influences your physical health. You need a lot more exercise to make a physical change in your body than you do to make a mental change. Again, that, that just dropping out of the situation, going for a quick walk, thinking it over, calming down if that's what you need to, or, or energizing yourself if you need to do something briskly uh, to wake yourself up for something else. Like, there's so many benefits for getting get out there active. And yes, you, we are utilizing it in many ways for our physical goals, uh, but I think you don't recognize how well it works for your mental health until you lose it for some period of time and recognize, wow, my mood sucks without physical activity. So I'm here to tell you, just get out there, get out for a walk, use activity as a break from everything else that's going on from work. Maybe you're stuck on a problem at work. Instead of, of, of staying there and working through it, go out there, go for a walk, grab a coffee, come back, get your 5,000 steps, however long that's gonna take, you know, 40 minutes, whatever, come back, come back with a fresh mind uh, and, and, and use exercise and this physical activity as a way for reinvesting in yourself, a, a break from the kids, a break from work, just there where it's time for just you, you, your body, feel, sense how powerful you are, sense how what you're so capable of and just work through that, see the progress week over week, month over month and realize that the best thing you can do is to invest time in yourself and improve the way you feel, the way you think, all these things just by being active.